Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel for a Friday Market Talk video. We're gonna kinda look across the market at what came out yesterday in Foot, uh, Foot Swap, the new SBCs, and kinda talk about possibly some market movements we could see with that um, in the upcoming month with uh, Team of the Season on the horizon and a lot of questions around when Team of the Season is actually gonna be coming out. Who knows, it might actually get teased today, Friday. They might put something out at 6 p.m. UK. Maybe they'll start the voting for Community Team of the Season. Who knows, we're just kinda of sitting on the edge of our seats waiting for Team of the Season. Who knows if we're gonna see anything like that. But in the meantime, there's a lot of stuff on this market right now um, that we need to talk about, especially in regard to foot swap. Now we're gonna use the footbin swap deals tracker to kind of look at this as well, but the foot swap deals that they released today, a lot of you guys know, um, there are some good informs in here. And of course, at the back again, we have the base icon pack, which I think a lot of people went for in this last month. And I really wonder if our people are gonna actually go for that again. But I'm gonna start my way at the front and look at some of this some of these cards here at the front. If you can barely do any foot swaps this month, if you don't want to spend any time or coins and you just want to collect the easy ones, maybe maybe do a quick and easy weekly objective. I mean, this is a great inform to get for your club, for an SBC, uh, maybe for a player of the year for League One, which is undoubtedly going to be Mbappe. That's a pretty good inform. And then we get back here towards the back. And I think a lot of people are going to make this combination work for them for foot swap this month. Zhao Cancelo's 88 rated right back card only costs you five foot swap items. That is very easy to get during the month of May. Same thing with James Rodriguez, only seven foot swap items for a 91 rated James Rodriguez inform card. So you're getting a 91 rated inform and an 88 rated inform for 12 foot swap tokens. Of course, you have the pack for uh, 100K pack for eight items, 10 items get you a 125K pack. And then we have some pretty good looking players here at the back as well. Kyle Walker, the foot birthday center back card, you get 12 foot swap items to redeem for him. Luis Suarez is the other top card in this uh, foot swap this month, 14 items. And then you have the base icon pack as well for 14 items. Now, when I first look at this, if you're really looking for the best bang for your buck this month, you have to think about what is coming this month. Well. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening in this month of May. It's early May, we haven't heard anything about Team of the Season yet. That's gonna change soon, at least in the next couple of weeks. So that's gonna kind of hinder people's ability to be focused on foot swap. This last month we had what, maybe two promotions, Team of the Knockout Stage and Foot Birthday were like kind of kind of in April Foot Birthday was. Um, I could be wrong with my thinking there, but um, you know, People could easily set their eyes on getting the base icon pack, which a lot of people did, and there wasn't too much to distract them. And it was the first one that had all the hype. People got it. They went and did their icon SBC or whatever, and they got their base icon. Now they have it in here again. And I think that there's going to be a lot less people that end up getting the base icon pack this month. It's going to take a real grind to get this during the midst of team of the season. By the end of the month, we're going to be inside of team of the season. and you know, your focus is gonna be on the SBCs, um, whatever weekly objectives might come out for team of the season. Um, I need to do this one, by the way. But people aren't gonna be as focused on finishing a weekly objective that might require you to win like five or six games of online single matches using a silver team to get a foot swap item. They're gonna be focused on team of the season, opening upgrade packs, you know, getting team of the season cards, trying O's out. There's gonna be SBCs during team of the season. That's gonna be the main focus. So a lot of people are gonna put their focus to that and kind of forget about or not as, they're not gonna perform as well or get as many foot swap tokens, uh, in my opinion. So this month, I think you're gonna see a lot of people that just opt for the Cancelo and for the James Rodriguez. I mean, let's be honest, if you're getting up here to 12, I mean, I don't think there's going to be some people that take this Kyle Walker card, but team of the season is literally almost here and you're going to get center backs that are of equal or better value than Kyle Walker and shoot. He could even get a right, right back team of the season card. I don't know if it's likely. I would say Alexander Arnold would get one in front of him, but there could be a second right back in Kyle Walker and team of the season. And this card in here would be, you know, a lot lesser value than the team of the season right back. Um, but if you're looking for SBC value, if you're looking to complete an icon SBC during team of the season, which I think a lot of people are, 
Jao Cancelo and James Rodriguez costing you 12 foot swap items, I think is the way to go. Um, obviously, you can let two foot swap items go. So maybe one week you don't have to do a weekly objective or you maybe they put out an SBC for a foot swap item, kind of like the one that's live now that maybe costs like 30K and you're like, I'm not gonna spend 30K for a foot swap item. You don't have to, you can let two of them go and it only costs 12 items to get these two cards um, into your team. So if I'm able to get all 12 this month, um, which isn't likely considering the last month I only had seven, um, if I get seven again, I'll go for James. Um, if I can get 12, I will probably try to snag both of these guys. I think that's the best deal out of this. I mean, if you're gonna push for the base icon pack and you're gonna focus on it and get it done, kudos to you. I think that's gonna be worth it if, if it's the grind and if it's something you wanna do to complete an icon SBC. I'm not stopping you from that by any means. I'm just saying it's gonna be harder this month because of all the stuff that's gonna be going on for team of the season. So that's kind of my outlook on foot swap. Another just, you know, solid, okay month of foot swap. You know, earlier in the year, we had a lot of other things um, just because they were able to mix it up a lot more with um, using other special cards on the game, which now when we look at special cards, um, there's so many more of them. If they made new cards, they would have to make them so high rated um, and that would kind of step on the toes of other cards and mess up with what they're trying to do with the market, I think. So I understand why they're putting some of these older cards back into foot swap. Other things that I want to talk about, uh, I tweeted about this Max Cruz SBC. I think right now it literally costs you like less than 30,000 coins to do this SBC. Who cares if the, if the card is good or not? Uh, two 83 rated squads is very, very cheap. You get a premium gold players pack, a kit, and then a rare electrum players pack in return for this SBC. It ends in 13 hours as of right now when I'm recording this. So it ends soon, um, but if that's something that you're interested in, um, you might have a little bit of time right when this video goes out to go finish that. But hopefully you got that done because it is a very cheap and easy 87 rated card to do with the, with the packs that you get back. Of course, we have a UCL upgrade out and get your foot swap deals player SBC done as well. I'm not even gonna talk about the kit because it's a kit. And then we got this today. And this is very interesting to me, the 80 plus player pick upgrade. There's no special cards that are in packs right now. And they're putting this player pick upgrade out that requires 10 rare gold players that you're turning in to get an 80 plus player pick upgrade, one of three cards that will pop up. I have no idea what the point is along this SBC. I, I saw this and I was just so confused. If they think they're gonna be able to suck coins off the market, I don't know what type of people are gonna be doing these player pick upgrades. Maybe people are gonna do one or two just to see what they get, see if they're juiced, uh, and then call it quits from there because that is just not a deal at all. And this is something that worries me. Why are they putting this out right now when we don't even want it or asking for it? If they're putting it out now, are they actually gonna put it out later during team of the season? I mean, we all assume that we're getting those upgrade packs, but last year they didn't come out right away. We had to ask for them. And that was kind of a, something that we really want to happen this year. And if it doesn't happen, there's gonna be a lot of people in uproar. And we're gonna look back at this and say, you put this 80 plus player pick upgrade SBC out in a time before team of the season where there were no special cards in packs. There was nothing to do the SBC for. And now we have all these cards in packs and um, and you're not giving us um, those SBCs. We pick up another sale on a Man of the Match, Di Maria. Nice. Um, but that's just kind of my thoughts on that. That was just a very random and a weird SBC to be putting out uh, this 80 plus player pick upgrade. Of course, you still have the, you now you have the updated in-game dynamic of Van Dyke and his player of the year card. This will be his best version. You won't get a better Van Dyke than this one. So if you're looking to have Van Dyke in your final end game team or Raheem Sterling, these are your best items um, for these two cards right here. And actually, let's go take a look on Footbin and see what these cards are actually chilling at right now, if their SBC costs have changed at all. So we're looking at Sterling is still 1.19 million coins and Van Dyke is 1.08. So they're still about the same in terms of pack value. Um, in terms of how much you have to spend and what you're getting back from these SBCs. Um, I haven't heard a lot of reviews on how good this card is, if it's like miles better than the team of the year, if it's better than the team of the year at all, or if it's just the same, I haven't heard too much. 
Um, but that is the best card of Van Dyke and of Sterling that you will see this year in FIFA Ultimate Team, unless they do some crazy promotion at the end of the year where they go above Team of the Season ratings. But those are some pretty nice cards. If you're going to do those, do those. And then if you're a Juve fan, uh, you know, a Juve fan, it's not Juve, excuse me for the mispronunciation. Barzagli, nice card, a little overpriced for me with tots around the corner. Uh, but if you're, a, if you're a fan of Juventus and you want to get that card, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, I was, I almost did the Ericsson SBC, um, and I ended up not doing it just because I knew Tots was right around the corner, but that was very tempting for me. Back to foot swap, this 88 rated Kyle Walker um, definitely got hit today it was in the panic cell. It didn't go down really that much. Um, it ha it was at a highest point earlier this weekend, I think of like 270, and now it's down to 250. Probably dipped a little bit under 250 at one point today as well. But he just doesn't have a ton of supply, to be honest. I'm sure he dropped a little bit more on PS4. I haven't actually looked up his price. Let's do that right now. Um, just because the PS4 market has more supply, more ability to panic sell, he is not. 272. Interesting. Let's look at the uh, the hourly graph here. What happened to Kyle Walker? He, he, drip, he dropped a good bit on both consoles. Actually, on Xbox, he hit 238. At a low point, but wow, he was almost 300 on PS. So that I understand why he's still higher on PS than he is on Xbox. Um, but this card's still rare. It's still Premier League. It's still a meta card um, that people are they're definitely going to use in game. And he's kind of in that range this weekend that was um, really good for flipping. I don't know if he really went up that much, but this weekend, if you focus on Premier League, you know stuff that was under 400,000 coins, kind of what I mentioned on Wednesday when we did our Thursday flipping video. It was a great, great weekend for flipping cards with the Weekend League rewards. I want to scroll through my transfer list to kind of finish out the video, talk about my Thursday flips. Usually I post something on Twitter or something like that, but I wanted to just kind of look through my transfer list. I haven't really cleared too many things throughout the day. These are kind of the highlights. I did have over 100 items, but, you know, flipping some Man of the Match cards, they're rare. I got this Poulsen at 150 on Sunday night during Squad Battle Rewards. Same thing with the Illicic and the Muller. Picked just a couple of them up. The Illicitches I got for under 40k. The Muller I got for 30k flat. Um, o Block was in a panic sell yesterday when his new Team of the Week card came out. Got that for 135. Got some Fernandinho's uh, around 95. Sold those for 108 to 110. There's a Witzel at 177. A Dembele I got at 305. Um, Lucas Hernandez was a very nice one. With that link to Godin, the new Team of the Week card. I think I had three of these. I bought them all at 150 to 140 to 150. I got them all in that range. And he went up to like 170, 177, as you saw I got there. That was a good one. And then, of course, the rare cards. Foot birthdays are really rare. I got these Promes at 140. Didn't make too much on that one. But, you know, that was a story of this weekend league for me. Tons of the, you know, not the 5K, like the 10K to 15K flips after tax. Tons and tons of those, like all of these Lala's, I got under 208,000 coins, sold a lot of them for 230, some of them for upwards almost 240, um, so that was a really good flip for me as well. Same thing with Future Stars Foden, I got him for, um, I bought three of them right before rewards at uh, 145 to 150, sold them for 170, which was a very, very nice profit. A Jovic I got for 140, sold at 154. Some Rashfords that I got at 105 and under sold for almost 120, which was nice. And then obviously my Socrates got a few of those and just some random informs, Premier League stuff that I've been looking at throughout the week that I always like to flip um, kind of here at the back. And then some gold cards. I actually went in on a lot of gold cards this week, especially Mbappe and Pogba and Kante. Those were kind of my main focuses. Pogba's I got under... 120,000 coins, a lot of them for around like 115, 116. Sold him at like 130, almost 140, which was very good. He goes up every week, man. The OP, the meta golds go up every week. Same thing with Conte, around 110,000 coins for the buy there. And all these Mbappes I got for 115,000 coins or less, selling them for 130. You know, solid 10K flips, uh, you know, 7 to 10K um, of profit after tax so that was very nice weekend league flips this week was very good and it actually pushed me to the first time ever seeing 20 million coins liquid on um in the top left hand corner which was very nice to see and we moved up a good bit in the top 100 
we are now sitting in 84th position. Um, I was at 91st this before Weekend League Rewards, uh, and I was also sitting at like two. Actually, we can check. Since the month ended or started reset yesterday, am I still top 100 monthly? I am not. I think I dropped out of the top 100 monthly. So we're going to have to go to friends and see where I'm at here. 1.846 uh, for the month, which is basically resetting on the 1st, which was Wednesday. So from Wednesday until now, 1.8 million of transfer profit. Not too bad. Could have been better. I could have spent more coins. I had about 6 million liquid when I went to bed on Wednesday night before awards. So it could have been better, but it was still a solid week. Um, especially in a time when the market is still pretty low. I mean, we go over here and flip in, check out the index 100. There's still a lot of people that, uh, you know, are sitting with a lot of their coins liquid just because team of the season is coming. We talked about that this week though, when there's no content out, people are going to buy cards, buy teams and, uh, try players out in the game. And we saw that today with the way that the market went up for sure. You see a nice slow climb throughout the day. And if we look at the daily graph, I'm not sure if this will update fast enough. Um, but you know, Wednesday at 62 points. Now we're up here at 64 for the index 100 and a lot of the special cards moved a good bit as well. So that's kind of the market watch I wanted to talk about today. Kind of covered a lot of things on the market. Today's going to be an interesting day, depending on what we get content wise in ultimate team, make sure to get this cruise SBC done and uh, get your foot swap deals player because that is out for a couple days, not too long, but again, we're just kind of in that waiting mode for team of the season. I'm gonna have some more of those update and research videos for the market during team of the season coming out here in the next couple of days. I'm looking at doing those every other day until we get some sort of um, you know, notion or understanding of when team of the season will be. Then we'll probably start to ramp those up pretty every, every day, maybe some every other day, but just to get a lot of content out, talk about a lot of things team of the season related uh, because it's gonna to totally change the market for the rest of the year some of the stuff that we're going to see um, on the game. One quick thing that I wanted to look at, and I am not somebody who really looks at this card's price a lot, Cristiano Ronaldo. Check out how low his gold card is. Right now he's actually up in price. He's a million coins right now, but he was, earlier this week, he was 900 and like 20,000 coins on Xbox. That is crazy. That's how you really tell that the market is in some sort of panic and a sell-off. And you can also tell that the market bought a lot of cards back today. This card up here at almost a million coins again. So market is up. Market is good. Get your weekly flips completed. You have some time to do, that, to do that still. Hopefully get some announcement for team this season. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it to come. Um, we'll be looking at also the Premier, no, not the Premier League, the League One player of the year investments and some opportunities with that along with premier league player of the month we'll be looking at some of that stuff here upcoming because i don't think premier league uh player of the month is today because they just released the voting like a couple days ago so we'll uh, probably see that next week and we'll look at some investments for that if you guys are interested in that as well keep a heads up for that if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later Peace out.